So this question says, at how many points do the graphs of the equations y equals x plus 20 and y equals 8x intersect in the xy plane? So first of all, you can definitely plug both of these into the integrated calculator that you'll have on the digital SAT. You'll have a decimals calculator. You'll find by doing that that you have a graph here. y equals x plus 20 will look something like this. And y equals 8x will look something like, you know, this. Going through the center there. And if I had more space and drew it more, you know, more carefully, we said that these lines will intersect up here, um, up above my screen. Um, but they will intersect there just one time. And then, therefore, the answer is choice B. Now, you could also think, well, is there really a need to, is there really a need to use a calculator? Um, how do these types of things work? Well, when I have lines that are being graphed, as long as these slopes are not the same, they're going to intersect at one place. As long as both graphs are linear, which they are, there's no x squared or x cubed, and the slopes are not equal to each other, they're going to intersect only once. If the slopes were equal to each other, they would never intersect because they'd be parallel. And if one or both of these equations were nonlinear, right, they were quadratic, um, something like that, then you'd potentially have more intersections, and that's where using a calculator would definitely be required. I'm going to say for this question, it wasn't really required, because we can see pretty clearly that this is these are both in y equals mx plus b form, so they're both linear equations. They both have different slopes. This one has a slope of 1. This one has a slope of 8. Therefore, they have to intersect just one time.